Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now on question number 16 from the May June 2021 International GCSE IGCSE Cambridge um, 0580 Paper 2 Variant 1. This is extended syllabus, and this question here is about straight line graphs. Again, it's been requested by one of the students on the channel and I'm going to go through this question. He's actually requested part C, but I, for completeness sake, I will just do um, all of the questions, um, A, B, and C. So the first part of the question says, find the gradient of line L. So they've given us a diagram showing the line L, and we have to find its gradient. Okay, so the gradient of the line can be found um, by choosing any two points on the line and seeing how the, the graph changes we know that there's a formula, the gradient is equal to the change in y over the change in x. Sometimes you write it as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You can write it as x y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2, ya minus yb over xa minus y, the xa minus xb, and so on. It doesn't matter. Basically, we've got to find two points on the line and find the change in y divided by the change in x between those two points. And we have to choose points that are easy to read. And of course, we can see here, one of those points is this, which is 0, 2. And the other point is this, which is 4, negative 1. So if I put this into the formula, let's call this the point 2. We're going to have 4 minus uh, the, the y, sorry, the y coordinates first. Be careful of, of, of making that mistake. It's a y1 minus y2. And remember, these the first is what x and the second is y. The first is x, the second is y. So it's minus 1 minus 2 divided by 4 minus 0, which gives you minus 3 over 4, which is minus 3 quarters. That is the gradient of this line, minus 3 quarters. You could also find it by just looking to see that this graph between these two points that we have here, it drops 3 units and it goes across to the right, 4 units, so minus 3 over 4. That's the gradient of this line. Okay. Part B says, find the equation of line L in the form y equals mx plus c. Now, the equation of a line is given by, as I said, y equals mx plus c. So we need two things. We need to have the gradient of the line, okay, which we have, minus 3 quarters. And we need to have any point on the line. okay. Now, if we know the y-intercept, then that's even better because we can just put straight away this value here, because the C stands for the place where the line crosses the y-axis. So in this case, we can see the y-intercept is 0, 2. That's one of the points that we had. So we can see that the, the, the value of C is equal to 2. Okay, so we can write away, just we can straight away just write down the equation of the line, minus 3 quarters x plus 2. We don't need to do any more calculation than that. That's fine, because we can see the y-intercept. We, we know the gradient. We can just write the equation of the line down without any calculation. Uh, any further calculation, that's perfectly fine. Now, for part C, which was a question that was asked by the student, find the equation of the line that is perpendicular to the line L. Okay, perpendicular means at right angles to, okay, to the line L, and passing through the point 12 minus 7. So to find the equation of the line, we need two things. We need the gradient, and we need any point on the line. Now, in this case, we, we don't have the y-intercept, but we have the, the point 12 minus 7. We can use this to find the y-intercept and to find the equation of the line. But the gradient of a line which is perpendicular to another line is basically its negative reciprocal. Okay, it's negative reciprocal, which means you take the gradient of the original line and what you do is you change its sign so it becomes positive and then Whatever it is, you write its reciprocal. Now, the reciprocal of 3 quarters is 4 over 3. So the gradient of the line that is perpendicular to the line L will have a gradient of 4 over 3. The negative reciprocal of the gradient of that line. If you multiply the two uh, gradients together, you'll always get negative 1 if lines are perpendicular. All right, That's why it's a negative reciprocal. So you change the sign and you flip the fraction, turn it upside down, and that gives you the gradient of the Line. So, for example, if a, gra a line had a gradient of 3, then the perpendicular gradient would be minus 1 third. Okay, it would become minus 1 third because it's the negative reciprocal. So you change the sign, and remember this is like 3 over 1, it becomes negative 1 over 3. In this case, it's a fraction. You just turn the fraction upside down and change its sign. That is the gradient of the line perpendicular to this, and that's what we need to use. So we could use two methods. Um, this method would probably be easier in this case. Just substituting the values that we know. This is your x, this is your y, this is your m. 
we can use that to find what c is and then we can write down the equation so instead of y i'm going to write minus seven instead of m i'm going to write four over three instead of x i'm going to write 12 plus c the three and the 12 cancel out leaving you with four so you're left with negative seven equals 16 plus c so subtract 16 from both sides negative seven minus 16 is negative 23 so now we know what c is we know what m is, we can write y equals mx, so it's 4 over 3x minus 23. There's the answer. Okay, now we can also do it in another method. Some people like to use y1 minus y2 equals m times x1 minus x2. Uh, sorry, no. let me do that again. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 where x1 and y1 are the coordinates of these points. So that will be x1 and y1, and y and x are just the variables that are in our answer. So you have y minus the y value, which is minus 7, equals m, which is 4 over 3 times x minus the x value, which is 12. And then this gives you y plus 7 equals, now we want to express the answer in this form, so I'm just going to multiply this out. That gives you 4 over 3x, and 4 over 3 times minus 12 is going to give you the cancel minus 16 and you subtract 7 from both sides you have y equals 4 over 3x minus 23 of course exactly the same answer okay just a slightly different method i think this method is easy in this particular question sometimes this method comes out easier but you can do whichever one you are used to and you are familiar with so there's the answer to this question that was a question that was being asked by the student part c but i answered the whole thing just to be complete for this question so other questions, I hope that was, um, that was clear. Um, please let me know in the comments if you understood that or if you need further explanation. Um, other questions from this particular paper um, can be found in the playlist that will be appearing in this region over here. You just click the link there. You can click the link over here for questions dealing with straight line graphs. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.